Hello all and welcome to another edition of Everyday Black History. Now today on Everyday Black History, we're going to be highlighting a woman by the name of Gladys West. And Gladys West is an African-American mathematician who is instrumental in the creation and development of the GPS system. So whenever you're riding in your car, you're using your navigation, whenever you have your social media tags about where you are and what you're doing, one of the people that you can thank for that possibility is Gladys West. Now Gladys West's story just came to light about a year ago um, when she sent a letter to an alumni um, and one of her sorority sisters read this letter and it came to light of her contribution to the GPS system. She was one of the uh, uh, hidden figures in history. But now that her story is to light, we're highlighting it because it's very important that people know her contribution is something that's used every day. Now, this little background information on her, she was born in 1930 in Virginia to a family of sharecroppers. Her family owned a small farm in which they picked uh, tobacco, cotton, and corn. But she was very ambitious and she knew that she didn't want to work you know, on the farm for the rest of her life. And she also knew that she didn't want to work in the local factory for the rest of her life like many of, her, um, many of the people around her did. Uh, she knew that the way out of the country and out of the farm was education. And so since her and her family didn't have a lot of money, she knew that she needed a scholarship to receive this education. And many of the people who graduated top of her class in her school, they received scholarships to the local university. So that gave her the uh, drive to graduate at the top of her class, which she did, and to receive that scholarship, which she did, to go to Virginia State University. While there, she studied uh, science and mathematics and graduated, got her bachelor's degree as well as her master's degree in mathematics. And after graduating from college, like many of her other female classmates, they, she went to teach for a couple of years in the public school system. But that didn't fulfill her either. and She knew that she could do more with her degrees. So she took a job starting in 1956 at the Naval Surface Warfare Center, Dog Green Division, where she was the second black person ever to be employed, where she was the second black woman, excuse me, ever to be employed and only the third black person to work there, uh, to work there in this industry at the time. Uh, one of the other um, black uh, employer employees there uh, became her husband, who she's still married to to this day. But while working there, she began to collect data from she be, she began to collect data from satellites to find out their exact location, and this uh, led to the, the the development of the global positioning system, which we know is as a GPS. Now her work was so uh, accurate that she was even more accurate than the computers. They would she said that her and her colleagues would sit around and go over math problems and ways to solve these math problems. Every single way to solve these math problems, they would import it, in, you know, import it into the computers. And then when the data came back from the computers, they would still have to go over their data to make sure that it was correct. Because as she mentioned in her own words, at nine times out of ten, the data from the computers were a little off. So they had to always make adjustments. So this is going to show you how she was much more accurate than even computers of that time but her work was was so well uh, regarded that she was recommended as project manager for the CSAT radar uh, project the first satellite that could remotely sense oceans and she was also record uh, her supervisors uh, were always uh, highly common ha always highly uh, accommodating her and uh, she was also named as a programmer for the large scale computers and a project manager for the data processing systems used in the analysis of satellite data. Uh, in the 1980s, she actually published a, uh, a, a guide, a 60 page guide called the Data Processing System Specifications for the Geostat Satellite Radar Allimeter. And her guide was published to explain how to increase the accuracy of the estimation of of geoid heights and vertical deflection, topics of satellite geodesy. And this was achieved by processing the data created from the radio allimeter on the Geostat satellite, which went into orbit on March 12, 1984. Now she worked at uh, 
the Naval Surface uh, Warfare Center for 42 years, retiring in 1998. But her work and her her work still lives on to this day. As I mentioned before, when you use your uh, your navigation, when you use your satellite on your phone, when you use navigation on your phone or tag yourself on your phone, it's because of her uh, research and her uh, findings and her her work. So Gladys Gladys West, I was about to say Gladys Knight. Gladys West, we thank you for your contribution to Black history, Black culture, and just for uh, making everyone's life much easier. And now that we all know of your contribution, we salute you for it, and we wanted to take a moment to highlight you uh, on Everyday Black History for it. So that concludes this episode of Everyday Black History. Please tune in again as we'll be having more uh, black history that we'll be sharing with you. More uh, black men, black women, and institutions that are important for us and that change in history as we know it. So stay tuned. <laughs>